Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today we're back with Superfilm Support and I made a mistake in a video uh, in the past Superfilm Support and you're not gonna find it because I'm gonna take it off because it's wrong. And the question I got last week was Jeremy saying how to do long exposures on a Fujika GW690 version two. And I happen to have a Fuji GW680 version three, which is very much the same camera. And what I did wrong is I did not read the manual. Uh, I jumped into conclusions myself thinking, I know how to do this, I don't need to read the manual. So the first advice is please read the manual, but if you're like me, don't read the manual, maybe this YouTube video now will be correct. So let's get the camera and put it in front of us. And uh, when you wanna do a long exposure, uh, you basically wanna be able to get the lens into what they would call bulb mode or T mode, which is time I'm supposing. And this camera, to get the access to that, you have to remove the lens shade and you grab the lens and you basically turn it to T. Once it's in T and you have your film loaded, you would choose your aperture. So let's say F8, just for the sake of demonstration. And you would, I have to open the back because I have no film. If you need to load film to be able to do this and not open the back. And now you would be able to shoot and that would leave the lens open. What I said last week, which is wrong, is when you've done that shot, and I'm closing the back because I have no film, I would advance. But what happens there is the film starts transporting before the lens closes. So what they recommend from the manufacturer is that you, without moving the advance wheel, that is a no-no, you move it to one second. So the moment I move it, it closes the lens, we're ready, and now you can advance to the next frame. So. Let me repeat that. Let's put a cable release because that's what I would recommend everybody use. So let's put the cable release. Opening the back because there's no film in it. Again, we are gonna be putting it on T once again. Let's say we're gonna shoot. So we got our, you know, gas station in the dark and some cine still loaded uh, for the sake of, you know, film points. We take a shot. That now is exposing. And like I said last week, if you're concerned about vibration, Cover the lens with a lens cap, with your hand, with a hat. I don't use hats, a lot of people suggested hats. And once you've counted your 10 seconds, 15 seconds, you can't press again because that doesn't work, okay? This camera doesn't work like that. You go to the lens and you move the time to one second. That will close the shutter. Now we can advance to the next frame. And this one is double advanced, so you double advance and you would be ready for the next shot. So that is how you do long exposures with these cameras. Thank you so much to the person on Discord, uh, the Discord uh, Restore from Backup, which uh, suggested that I was wrong. Thank you very much. Like I said, this is the correct way to do it. Don't go ahead and advance. That will start moving your film and you'll get like some, you know, movement into it. And also when you finish with the shot, you can also just close you know, the lens with your hand or with a hat or with a cardboard or anything, so there's no light coming in. If you're doing a long exposure, usually you're doing multiple seconds, so you're not so concerned, and then you just change it to one second, and that will close the shutter. You can advance your film, continue shooting. So I hope that helped. As always, remember this Superfilm support is sponsored by you guys, Patreons or donations, so I'll leave the link below just in case you wanna help me do better videos. I'm really sorry that I got the video wrong the first time. I hope this second time this will amend and people will have the correct way to do that. We are all here to learn together. That's the whole point of this YouTube channel. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.